Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make some fabric pinwheels. I know, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, so first of all, can we just acknowledge I got this fabric on clearance for $4.97 at Michael's. What? All right, so I have a five inch square that we're going to cut our fabric out of and a four and three quarter inch square that we're going to use our heat and bond. This heat and bond I got at Joanne Fabrics and it's the Ultra Hold. Here I have cut out my five inch square. Here is our four and three quarter inch square. So we're gonna put one square down that is um, right side down. Then we're gonna add our um, heat and bond. You wanna put it shiny side down so that the paper is that side up, right? And then iron it. And then we peel the paper off. Oh, how fun, it's so satisfying. Then we're gonna put that down and then we're gonna put the second piece of fabric down on top of it, sandwich it, and then iron it again. That way we adhere them together. Ta-da! Then, we, um, then we're going to trim the edges. So you saw how it was four and three quarters, but we wanna trim the edges so that there are no openings. Does that make sense? So there we did that. And now we're going to trim, we're gonna cut right to the center. You don't want to cut all the way through. So think of it as like there's like a circle of an inch in the inside that you don't want to go through. And we're going to do that for all the corners. So from the corner into the center. And you know I can't cut a straight line. So this was um, magnificent for me. <laughs> so then put a dot of glue in the center and then we're just going to put one of the points in. Get a finger protector. They have them at Dollar Tree. It saves your fingers, I promise. And then we put more glue and then we go to the next um, I guess point and pull that in. See how we do that? And then we go to the next one and we're going to do the same thing, more glue. And then we're going to go to the next triangle and pull one of those ones in. This is way easier than I make it sound. <laughs> I sometimes make things more complicated. I know, but then all the way through, are you kidding? Look at, it's a pinwheel already. Now this isn't a functional one, so don't get crazy friends, but I put a little more dollop of glue in the center and put just a little wood bead. I think it's probably like a half an inch wood bead. Then I have a dowel and I put some glue on top and I have one of these little square be wood beads from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna put that on it. Easy peasy. Another way you could do it is put the glue inside the square bead, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Ooh, that is playing with fire right there. I don't know. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? Because that could go one way or the other. Anyways, so then I put some, <laughs> so then I put some um, glue on one of the sides of our little square and I glue our little faux pinwheel on it. And look at how cute it is. I did one with, I mean, I did alternating fabrics. Not alternate, you know, contrasting fabrics. That's the right way to put it. And so I did another one. Oh, they are so, man, you could do ones for patriotic. Oh, I love them so much. But again, I will remind you, they're not functional. So they're not going to spin in the wind. So don't go trying to blow on it and make it spin. It's not going to do that. And don't message me that they don't work because they're not supposed to. They're just decorative. <laughs> Anyways, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you. If nothing else, I hope it made you smile. All right, gang, have a great night.